Hey everyone, my name is Kat and this is Corpse Factory. Welcome back. We're at the office. Oh my god. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I can't wait to figure it out. I cannot wait to find out what's coming. Uh, it sounds like our good friend Armin might be joining us at the office. So I don't know how that's going to play out. I mean, I had one theory. I had one theory in that uh, Armin was going to have trouble with Tomoa. I think that's going to be quite clear. If Armin does start with at the office, uh, she's going to run into Tomoa. Tomoa's going to bully her for sure. And then Armin might write her name. I was, was going to say write her name in the death, but a death note. <laughs> Uh, sent a death request or whatever to a uh, corpse girl and I reckon Tomoa is not gonna fall for it I reckon she's she's not going to die and Armin's gonna be pissed and it'll somehow come out in the office that either she put in a request or that um, you know that uh, the corpse girl is fake uh, or something I don't know if it's gonna come out that we Noriko are corpse girl but I reckon it's going to I don't know be I reckon this is going to be the factor, the driving factor that gets like our father, who is a detective apparently, he's going to get involved and I don't know, but we'll see. I can't wait to find out. I'm probably way off. I'm usually, I'm usually way off guys. So anyway, let's jump in each other's game. Let's go. So our fingers are tapping rhythmically against the keyboard and I slip into the usual workday trance. Let's fucking do it. Are we back home immediately? So. I see that you're connected with Shinya on noise now, huh? Oh my god. What the fuck does she care? What the fuck does she care, Lumpy's Space Princess? I gotta stop calling her that because I like Lumpy's Space Princess, but I can't help it with the yeah. So I see that you're connected with Shinya on noise now, huh? Noise. Noise coming up again. Noise has to be relevant somehow. I'm not sure how. It's gotta be though. Um. I don't know. I don't know. So are we having a lunch break or something and Jamal has just come up to us? What the fuck do you care? My walk to the train station. So we're on our way home? We're on our way home and Jamal is just chasing us and being like, Oh my god, you're like friends with Shenya, are ya? Oh, is interrupted by a familiar grating voice. Sounds like both of you are getting on pretty well. Sounds like both of you are getting on pretty well. Uh, oh my god. How did you... How did you... Um... Hmm... How did she? Oh, of course, Mo and I are already friends. Wait, what? What? Tomoa and I are already friends on Noise? She would have seen the notification when I accepted. We were friends with Tomoa, but not Shinya. That's interesting. We knew Shinya from Junior High or whatever, right? We've known him for longer, I'm pretty sure. Tomoa's just someone we met here at the office. Why would we be friends with Tomoa? Maybe she had like a, a she had a like a different front or facade, or she had a different personality when we first joined the office, and maybe we were initially friends with Tomoa, and then like maybe she changed or something, or we got to know the real side of her. Um or or Shinya is bothering us so bad that we don't even want to be friends with him. That we would be friends with Tomoa before we would be friends with Shinya. That's interesting. Huh. I don't know. God damn it. Is she going to a rave or something? It's actually kind of strange that Tomoa and I connected through the app. Yeah, why? Why? Why are you connected through the app? We added each other on my first day of work before I learned how much of an intolerable excuse for a human being she is. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. We're just starting a new job. She's probably like, you know, introducing us to people and be like, Hey, you can join me or you can be my friend on noise and I'll get you around town and we'll be so lumpy together and I, I don't know. <laughs> we simply never delete each other even after all these months. Her posts are entertaining anyway. That's kind of interesting. Um, actually just thinking about like my own history uh, at workplaces. I used to work somewhere where I was being like bullied incessantly by this one woman. She was absolutely horrid and she tried to be my friend on Facebook and I'm like no like I just I just ignored the request but it's just I found it so weird that she would request my friendship but she was completely like she was so, it was so obvious she was bullying me. So many people saw it in the office too. I just didn't understand so it was obvious that she was trying to I don't know, somehow be my friend so she could like intensify her bullying or something? I don't know. Very odd. 
And since I rarely ever post anything myself, she probably forgot we were connected at all until today. No. Huh. Don't get me wrong, you hear? I ain't actually interested in Shinya. Nah. I'm real happy for you both, like. Is this how people... I know this is obviously English translation or English dub, but... I'm just like, the ya here and ya both, like, ain't. I don't know. I wonder, um... Well, this is an Australian game, isn't it? I don't know if there's... Is there Japanese audio for this? I want to know, like, what... What the language is like. Like, slang words and stuff. I don't know. Now look, don't get me wrong, your hair. I ain't actually interested in Shenya. Nah, I'm real happy for you both, like... <laughs> like... Oh my god. But what I can't stand is a skank like yourself getting some while I'm over here all dry like a desert. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously? And the smile. <laughs> the smile. But what I can't stand is a skank like yourself getting some while I'm over here like all dry like a desert. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I can't do this to Lumpy Space Princess. What the hell are you talking about? Honestly, what are you talking about? It pisses me off that guys just slept like you, and you barely have to put in any work. I'm sorry, but she sounds so much like Lumpy Space Princess. She actually looks sad, like she's putting on a... How, how are you allowed to wear that to work? How? How? It pisses me off that guys just sluts like ya yeah, and you barely have to put in any work. Oh my god. Are you saying that all of this is work to to attract someone? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Barely have to put in any work. Do you mean like uh like physically, like putting on makeup, uh dressing that way, dyeing your hair pink or whatever? putting on makeup is this all to attract someone please don't be sending that message out okay because so many fucking cis guys think that women are doing that already like everything they do is for guys like just just don't Meanwhile, nice girls like me gotta oh. put in so much effort to even get noticed is this is this a trademark nice girls tm <laughs> Meanwhile, a nice girl like me gotta put in so much effort to even get noticed. Is that what you're saying? Is that you you put on makeup and... Or is it about your personality? I don't know what kind of like work, inverted commas, work she's referring to that she's trying to get noticed. Is she actually interested in Shinya? She keeps saying she's not interested in Shinya, which tells me she is interested in Shinya, so... But we're not, are we? I don't think Noriko is. We're sort of using him, but I don't think we're interested in him romantically. You think all of this is just natural? Uh-huh, uh-huh, I put uh -huh. so much effort into how I look, you know? And guys like Shinya don't even bat an eyebrow at me. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe you're not his type. I don't know. You think all of this is natural? I put so much effort into how I look, you know? And guys like Shinya don't even bat an eyebrow at me. I'm sorry, I know that... I know that she's actually saying the words and I don't need to say it, but I need to because she's Lumpy Space Princess. <laughs> I I don't know. Does she actually like Shinya? I don't know. I don't you know. You mean bad an eyelid, right? Whatever. It don't matter. I'm sick of skanks like you getting everything for nothing. Everything for nothing. Wow. Skanks. <sighs> oh my god. I, don't, I can't believe I'm having this conversation. I know it's in a game, but I can't believe I'm having this conversation. If I ever had this conversation in real life, I'd just fucking laugh. Like, I, I don't know what... I don't know how I'd respond, honestly. This is just so laughable. Ugh. Whatever. It don't matter. I'm sick of skanks like you're getting everything for nothing. Ugh, the way she talks. Like, how does she even have this job? I don't know. I assume she doesn't talk like this uh to other colleagues it's just us but i don't know I, I don't know look let me be honest with you i'm not interested in shinya and i'm not trying to be with him yeah honestly the, the clothes we're wearing too is that acceptable as well i don't know i don't chase guys and it's pretty rare that they chase me you've got me all wrong mm, it's <laughs> like, like i that. believe you do you spend your time chasing chicks then? Oh my god. <laughs> like I believe ya. Yeah. Do you spend your time chasing chicks then? Sorry, it just, I, I, the ya. Yeah. 
I do find that um, the more like I'm online speaking in sort of a casual tone uh, using slang words and stuff like that I do find it does sort of rub off on me and I do bring it into the office at times obviously I'm not gonna be like yeah then and yeah checks and blah you know I don't talk like that I don't think I even talk like that online uh, but I might bring some slang words to work um, I can't think of any examples at the moment though I can't think of anything but I do notice it um, and then sometimes when you're writing like shorthand or you're like intentionally misspelling words because you're just doing like um, you know uh, like text style writing to people online and that um, I, I guess I guess I gotta try and stop that because it does influence or affect me at work too which can be bad because I do work in editorial and I, I do work on editing things so I gotta make sure things are spelled correctly <laughs> but yeah sometimes I go I rethink words I'm like wait no that's not the correct way of spelling it <laughs> that's not your business but you don't have to worry about me pursuing Shinya. <sighs> she must she must like Shinya. She's so worried and keeps saying that she's not bothered by it or not interested in Shinya that she must be. Tell but... you what, any guy at the office is all yours, okay? I'm not interested. Hmm, that's interesting. It sounds like she's frustrated that she's not getting guys in general and taking it out on us. Like I feel like that's very clear. Um, so if we say, oh yeah, okay, we'll step back, we're not going to do anything now, it's all up to you, you can have all the guys, and she's going to get just even more frustrated because what she's seeing that, what well, we're not putting in any effort, or we're, we're not doing anything to get anyone's attention, or that it is just a her problem? I don't know. This is going to go south. Oh, is that how it's going to be, slut? I don't know I don't even know what the word slut means anymore you know it just so many people are called slut um because they don't want to be involved in a relationship they don't want to pursue someone so they're a slut and then when they do want to go in a relationship they're also a slut like I just what does slut even mean these days honestly <laughs> oh is that how it's gotta be slut you think no one is good enough for you but they're good enough for me. Oh my god, when is this conversation gonna end? I, I could not handle this in real life. I could not handle this conversation in real life. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't. I can't even do it in Lumpy Space Princess right now. You're just like all the other girls. You think I'm worth being pitied? You think I need it? Uh, I do pity you. I do pity you. Well, I don't want your pity. You're nothing but a fake skank. Fake skank? What does that even mean? She's a fake fake skank what is a skank then you just said she was a slut she's a fake skank what is a skank compared to a slut what's the difference i don't understand but she's a fake skank now she fake slut i don't know what is your insult i'm so confused like if anyone called me a slut or a, a fake skank or are you saying she should be more realistic in her skankiness she's she's so fake news skank i i don't know what you're saying i don't understand this insult i would be so confused to just walk away in fact i'd be really angry because i'm probably missing my fucking train and they only come every half an hour tomorrow pushes forward her bulk forcing me off the sidewalk and into the thicket of trees bordering the path not a thicket of trees oh hell shit the burning slap across my face comes out of nowhere. I'm blinded by white stars and my entire face feels like it's on fire. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm wondering something now. I'm wondering if Noriko's going to try and coerce... Maybe not coerce, but encourage um, Armin to put in a request for Tomoa. Because I, I don't think... Noriko d fulfills like her own desires herself she only does it if someone's put in a request but I feel like she might encourage Armin now to put in a request oh man are you wearing a mini skirt too to an office is that okay I'd get into so much shit if I wore a mini skirt to work oh 
The strike is hard, sharp, vicious. It happens so suddenly that I'm having difficulty processing it. Yeah, I would too. I'd have so much difficulty. Or maybe we'll murder her right now. Like, we will actually just physically... We'll tumble and she'll fall and break her neck or something. That'd be interesting. I wonder how she would feel, like, killing someone, like, directly like that. Like, actually being, like, responsible. Directly responsible. Physically responsible for someone's death like that. Whether, like, accidental. Like, if they do tumble, Tomoe breaks her neck or something. Or Noriko strangles her or something like that, you know? Like, how would she feel when she's not, you know, distanced from the victim like that? Not actually, yeah. Interesting. I stumble, but my legs don't quite give out. My mind races trying to put together what just happened. Yep. Yeah, I'd probably be like that too. Tomoe hit me. Why? Why did she hit me? I don't know. Something about you being like a fake new skank or something. Like, you need to dress more skank? What is skank? I don't know. I'm just picturing a skunk, but past tense now. <laughs> There's a strange sort of disconnect in my mind. My body doesn't feel like my own. Like this isn't actually happening to me, but rather I'm watching it happen to someone else. Ooh, that's interesting. Are we going to watch ourselves um, murder now? Are we going to watch ourselves like murder tomorrow? Time seems to slow down and speed up all at once. The slap replays twice in my mind before Tomoe's hand even leaves my face. I catch a glimpse of her furious expression. Red! How dare you put red in green! How dare you! And strained and overcome with anger. I hate you! I hate everyone like you! Don't pity me! God damn! You've got some problems. You, you've got some problems. Yep. Second strike connects with my chin and I flinch, my entire body paralyzed with pain. God damn. She hit me again? Stop! Wow. I hate you. I hate you! Well then put in a request to, to murder her or something. I don't know. Tomoa has lost it. She's absolutely furious and I can't figure out what I did wrong. Um... Well, she's jealous of our existence. She's jealous that Shinya likes us, even though she apparently doesn't like Shinya herself. And she's a desert or something? I don't know. And we're a skank. I don't know. Her third attack is a curled fist aimed straight at my stomach. Holy shit! Aren't we, like, right near the office as well? Can no one see this? Through sheer luck or complete accident, I tumble backward, narrowly avoiding the punch and instead landing on my rear. The pavement is rough and hard, but I'm sure it feels a lot better than taking a fist in the gut. Tomoe screams and rushes at me, but I scramble to my feet and grab her by the wrist. Jesus Christ! She flails wildly, her eyes looking like they'll pop out of her skull at any given second. Lumpy Space Princess would never do this. Her breathing is harsh and ragged and tears of rage have caused a flood of clotted makeup to run down her face. Oh my god. Calm down! Calm down! Wow. She struggles against me, slowly giving in as my tight grip prevents her from attacking me further. She begins to sob softly. I, I hate you! I hate everything about you! Oh, I get it. She's saying it to herself. I get it. Right. She hates herself. Right. With a great pull, Tomoa frees herself from my grip. She steps away, cursing, and then runs past me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it now. I blink in disbelief as she breaks into a sprint, heading in the direction of the train station. Hmm. I raise a hand to my tender face and touch gently. The stinging sensation is completely new to me. Never before have I been attacked like that. What the hell was all that about? She... She doesn't even look like she's got any kind of marks on her face or anything. She's crying? Interesting. I can't believe she hit me! Yeah... We're gonna like report her to management or something? Oh my god. I don't think Lumpy Space Princess would ever do that. I haven't seen all Adventure Time, but I'm pretty sure she would not do that. 
The pack of frozen vegetables pressed against my face soothes my swollen jaw, but does very little to calm my nerves. Yeah, we would have like so much fucking adrenaline rushing through us right now. We'd just be shaking. I'm still on edge after what happened today. Tomorrow actually physically attacked me, all because I said something. I'm not sure what that provoked her anger. What did we say? Oh, we said that, yeah, you can have anyone in the office or something. And she took it to mean that something. <laughs> something about us being a skank. I don't know. Maybe that girl is more complicated than I gave her credit for. Seems like she has her own inner demons, just like the rest of us. Yeah, it's very obvious she does. She's very insecure. I've replayed the event in my head a hundred times since returning home. Without confronting Tomoe about it, I don't think I'll ever figure out what incited her aggression. Right. But I don't plan on talking to her about it anytime soon. I wouldn't say I'm scared of her, but I don't exactly want to encourage a repeat performance. Man, do we want Armin to be working with us with someone like that? I rest the bag of frozen vegetables on the small coffee table next to me. I think I've done all I can to reduce the painful swelling for now. Shit. Sighing and leaning back, I let the soft padding of the couch consume my body as I sink deeper. My eyes glaze over as I bring my phone to my face. My fingers lazily tap and scroll as I look through a carefully curated obituary newsfeed, a list of deaths that have been reported throughout the day. Using a set of handy filters, I narrow the feed down to include only women's deaths in the age range of 30 to 50. I set the location to cover all of Japan. I immediately exclude any results that mention natural causes of death. I'm looking for specific cases, suicides, or as is more often reported, accidents. Of course, I'm looking to find out whether my latest victim has offed herself yet. Should this search string return no results, then it's pretty easy to look up recent murders. They're few and far between. Between suicides, accidents, I hate it so much that- could you stop doing that? Stop it! <laughs> Put, put the comma after. Put the comma after, please. Please. Like, all right, just in the instance of like a question mark, what would you do if it's a question mark? If that's the end of a sentence, imagine that's the end of a sentence, it's a period, and you've got the apostrophe outside, not inside. Where do you put the question mark then? Do you put the question mark inside or outside? I just... <clears throat> I feel like you guys are not consistent. It makes no sense, okay? The comma is not part of the word. The comma is not part of the word. So don't put the... Just stop it. And this is an Australian game. You guys know better. <sighs> 9 out of 10 of the search results include a photograph of the deceased. Not a photo of their course, mind you. This isn't the database of the deceased I'm looking through. Rather, it's, un it's usually a nice flattering picture of the recently departed, submitted by their kin to go along with their obituary. Did my heart rate go up when I freaked out over the apostrophe in the comma? <laughs> I use the photos submitted with obituaries to compare and match with the images of my victims. This is the only reliable way I have to discover whether or not my victims have perished. If I knew a victim's name, I could easily look up their current fate, but my website doesn't ask for that information. Call it respect for the victim's privacy, but there's a lot more to it than that. Right, so she has some sort of code, but that's a topic to dwell on another day. I would like to know more about that because we could ask for any information. We could ask for as much or as little as we liked. So yeah, respect for the victim's privacy. That's an interesting kind of code we've got. Tonight's search turns up no solid leads. I'm disappointed, but this result isn't entirely unexpected. I feel like the police are... Um, you know, hiding these uh, deaths. I feel like they are. As I said about like the Emmy one, I don't even know when the Emmy one has happened. Like in relation to this story with Noriko, is the Emmy one a past, uh, you know, case or is it current? Is it going to happen? I don't know. Um, but I feel like, you know, the police probably came by, they saw her phone, they saw the photo and they're like, hey, we've seen this before sort of thing. Um, and they might be like, well, let's not reveal it to the public or something like that. You know, they probably don't want to scare people either with this story about this website that's killing people. So, yeah. After all, I set the date on my latest victim's photograph to tomorrow. Oh, I see. There's still time for her to freak out and end it all. Right, okay. I decided to go to sleep early tonight. That's a good idea. 
I'm not even feeling hungry enough to eat the cheap convenience store meal that's been sitting in my fridge since yesterday. Did you put the frozen uh, vegetables away? You should do that. Though, if I go to sleep now, it will feel like tomorrow arrives sooner. Tomorrow. I know that feeling. I know that feeling so bad. Oh my god. That, like, horrible Sunday feeling. I'll have to see tomorrow at work. There's no way I can avoid her since her desk is so close to mine. What could happen between now and tomorrow? What could happen? What could happen? Hmm. Could there be another reason why Chimbo was freaked out and, like, attacked us? Maybe she got a picture. No. Um, well, I mean, that could make sense in terms of my theory that I mentioned earlier in that there could be, like, another website or another person constructing these photos. Like, maybe they got the idea from the Corpse Girl website and they're doing the same thing. Uh, it's possible. I don't know. The idea doesn't sit well with me. On the other hand, my victim might conquer herself, which would definitely make me feel better. What? My victim might conquer herself. Make us feel better. What? What does that mean? It could very well be my next success, and the suspense is just about enough to kill me. When you say conquer yourself, I assume that means... I, I was reading that to mean, like, not fall victim to the photo. I'm so confused. But we... That makes us aroused. We get so fucking aroused over people dying, right? So, tomorrow. I'm so confused. Oh, I want to know so bad. I want to know so bad what's going to happen. Okay, Wednesday. Okay, so this is the day. This is the day. My typing is hesitant and distracted this morning. My fingers falter, misstep, and take... Tap... Take... Tap... <clears throat> and tap... Backspace. Repetitively. It's interesting after the advice that we gave to Armin. I wonder if we will actually take our own advice and, like, uh, say something to Tomoa or reporter or do something about it, you know? It's unacceptable, obviously, so this is no good. I can't focus on work while I'm staring at the top of Tomoa's head, popping up from behind a monitor a few deaths away. Oh, sucks that they're so close together. Even my own work playlist isn't inspiring me to pulverize the keyboard today. Normally a blast of pure volume and a shot of caffeine is enough to carry me to the greatest heights of productivity. I press a finger to my pursed lips, trying hard to regain my focus. I absentmindedly notice that I missed the edge of a top lip when applying lipstick this morning. Okay. Damn, I'm really out of salt today. At least I managed to apply some extra blush to cover up the faint bruising on my face. Oh, wow. Yeah. I might have overdone it a little, but it's better than looking like I just stepped out of a boxing ring. Good morning, Noriko. Boy, have I got some neat news for you. Oh, I'm kind of worried we're going to take it out on Shinya now. I'm worried that, because, yeah, we haven't said anything to anyone, we haven't done anything, we've been bottling it up, I have a feeling we're going to take it out on Shinya. I'm so absorbed in my own thoughts that I barely register Shinya standing in front of my desk. Aw, oh, we're Noriko? in the same thing. Excuse me, Noriko, are you in there? Oh. Uh, uh huh? My eyes fixate on Shinya's goofy smile, I quickly remove my headphones. Damn. I wonder I wonder what kind of a person we might be because because um you know we obviously saw Tomoa's like very insecure side, jealous side. We could be a complete asshole and like cozy up to Shinya. We could like uh touch him or like kiss him or like you know make googly eyes at him or something like that to piss her off. And I wonder what kind of person we are. Would we do that? Would we do that? My immediate thought, obviously, was, um, as I said, that we would take it out on him. That we would just snap because, you know, we haven't let it out. We're just bottling up this, whatever this is, anger or, you know. So, but we are a very disturbed, very unhinged person. We might try to manipulate uh, this sort of situation. We might try to manipulate him and, you know try to upset Tomoa. We'll see. Fujikawa, uh, Shinya, sorry. Hi. Are you okay? 
I don't know. I'm gonna say no. We're like a murderer. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Tired is all. Oh, I hear you. I was up late last night. Oh, what were you doing? Investigating crime? Like corpse girl crimes? Boy, I must have been up past ten. Just could not put down this new crime thriller I've been reading. Oh, what are you reading? Oh, yeah, right. I was... I was up late reading too. Yeah. Your horror novels, right? Don't they leave you feeling a little scared before you go to sleep? Oh, that's so cute! Did we put the vegetables away in the freezer? I don't think we did. No, not really. It's all fiction, so it's pretty easy to distinguish from reality. Yeah, the reality where we're murdering people. Or is that all fiction too? I don't know anymore. Is that so? Wow, that's not like my book at all. No. Maybe we should be more concerned about what you're reading. <laughs> like true crime stuff or whatever. Was well, crime thriller? That doesn't necessarily mean it's true crime, right? Could be like fiction. The crimes I don't know. in this story are all based on real cases. Uh, My jaw hits the floor every time I turn the page. Right, but do you like idolize any of these people or? Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, let me tell you this: your friend Sato can take a data entry opening starting from Monday. Oh. Oh, that's so awesome maybe i don't know i feel like this is gonna go bad she doesn't even need to interview oh that's how much the boss trusts me oh wow Ooh. i feel like that's bad hmm but he doesn't he barely even remembers armin right he barely remembers armin uh, that's bad she doesn't even need to interview I feel like she's gonna be bringing corpse girl related culture to the office. I'm genuinely- what is this little dot right there? Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. It keeps happening every now and then. I'm genuinely impressed with Shinji's ability to score arm in a job. Say what you want about the guy, but the big wigs obviously have faith in him. Wow, Shinya! I don't know what to say! Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh, Tomoa's not gonna like this. She's not gonna like this. She thinks it's gonna be like favoritism, and I think it is in a way. Like, he's obviously... I feel like because he's got feelings for Noriko, that's like the main reason why he decided to help her. Uh, Tomoa's not gonna like this. We're probably gonna get beaten up again or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't thank me yet. Sato is going to be worked to the bone. I hope she's prepared for it. Oh, really? Really? Trust me, anything will be better than her current job. Really, thank you, Shinya. You came through for us here. Oh, man. I want to keep going, but I think I might have to end it there, guys. I think I might have to end it there. Ugh. I don't know um, how long this game is either. I want to look that up. I, I'm worried that I might get spoilers, though, if I try to look up like how many chapters are in this game uh, or how many hours left or whatever. Um, but... Yeah, I would like to know how much longer we've got. I don't want it to end! I really love this game. I really love this game. Um, and it's it's got to hit. It's got to hit something soon. It's got to hit some sort of complication soon, right? So, fuck. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my lovely patrons. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are incredible. You're lovely. You're fantastic. And thank you for voting for this game because I really love it. I'm so glad it won the poll. <laughs> If you would like to become a patron yourself, please check out the link in the description below. If you like this video, please do like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell so you get notifications for my next video. And uh, until the next time, please do have an amazing day, slash night, slash whatever, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.